And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Paul Bean. All right, let's start off with that storm tracker because it might be clear out there for now, but it won't be for long. Seeing clear skies with clouds here and there in Idaho Falls and Pocatello. And while there is a little bit of snow making its way over north of Wyoming, down in our region, staying clear for tonight and most of tomorrow. I'm going to zoom it out, though, because that won't stay it for all week. You can see that moisture all the way off near the Washington and Oregon area. That system right there is going to slowly make its way over near this ridge. And while we are seeing warmer temperatures from it. It's not going to last for long as that snow makes its way back in. We're going to start to see those temperatures go back down, although not by much. We're only going to see those mid 30s, whereas the last couple of cool downs we've been well below freezing. Future trackers staying clear for majority of the day, like I said, but once we hit the late night area, take a look at that. Rain quickly makes its way from the south quickly all the way up to Idaho Falls with Pocatello being in that mixed snow region as well. So in the afternoon, expect to keep your eyes on the sky because that snow rain mix is going to quickly overtake the area in the 6 to 7 p.m. area. So keep, just be ready for that. Tonight, though, mostly cloudy, 26 in Pocatello, Idaho Falls, 24. And that's basically what you're seeing in almost every region, although some of them are a little bit colder, 22 in Chalice, 24 in Salmon with those overcast clouds. And Highlands and West Wyoming, scattered clouds, but 20 and 15 in Island Park and Jackson. So some of those teens out there. So it's another cold night. It's what we've grown used to over the last couple of days, whereas those temperatures are warming up during the day, the lows are staying low, and it's been pretty brutal during some of those night times. And then finally, as we move into tomorrow, staying mostly cloudy, 36 in Island Park, 40 in Jackson. So warming up once again, more clouds in the Central Mountains, 41 in Chalice, 44 in Salmon. Then finally, for the Snake River Plain evening mix, 45 in Pocatello, 42 in Idaho Falls. Now taking a look at that seven day forecast, uh, take a look at that. Staying clear, like I said, for tomorrow, but then that mix comes back in and it eventually turns into snow. Those temperatures cool back down. 35 for Wednesday, 38 for Thursday and Friday, and next weekend expect to be in those upper 30s with a lot of those lows recovering nicely. 33 for Tuesday, 32 for Thursday. So not all those night times are going to be as brutal as what we've been seeing for the last few days. Idaho Falls, very similar, mostly cloudy on Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, seeing that snow, though, but I mean, so looking at the temperatures, you're not really surprised. 36, 32, very close to that freezing line, with a lot of those nighttime lows being well below at 30, 25, 26 for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Teton area, very similar, but they always see the temperatures a little bit colder than everybody else. Seeing those low 30s, 34, 32, 32 for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and 20, 24. So even at night, it's pretty cold with the teens coming back by next weekend. Then finally, for the Central Mountain area, once again, four days of snow, 42 at the start of it, 38 coming out of it. So the temperatures are marginally making their way back down. But like I said, not as bad as what we're used to. We have been seeing those temperatures in the 20s during the daytime. So 32 is something we can handle. That sounds actually good. <laughs> a little bit of a heat wave there after what we've been experiencing. Heat wave. <laughs> it's a heat wave for what it has been. Yeah, fair All enough. All right, coming up, find out what.